Oh, so it seems like someone had released OPC there. <laughs> or some caster. <laughs> yes, and some caster was sabotaging them. I mean, what can I say? But for some reason, when the FAF client is crashing, it's just also killing my connection to the Twitch and basically making the game unplayable. Well, that's weird. It never happened to me before. But then well, again, yeah. the back, back screen is over and it also never happened to me before. Yeah. <laughs> now they did. I mean, I think like we can just quickly rewind the game up to the 10 minute mark where I crashed. More of us than you can sure. possibly ever hope to do. Yeah, I think that's, that's a neat idea. Like, we are not gonna watch the same thing unfold two times in a row. Yeah. So or at least go... I hope that our watchers, or I mean viewers, are not golden fish. So yeah, they are gonna remember what happened in the early game before. Exactly. So you wanna meet up at ten minutes? Yes. All right. So actually, I wonder if the stream dying and the connection dying is because the CPU is basically working full tilt on 100%. Yeah, it may be possible. Like, I'm not sure. Because, I mean, I had similar things happen with Aeolus when Aeolus was crashing the client. The CPU would be basically going up to 100% and the PC was barely responsive, so yeah. Certainly it is weird that it is happening at all. Yeah, there have been a lot of issues recently with the arrows and chat and... Oh yeah, actually I think we will stop at minute 8 and 30 seconds, okay? Alright, alright. Because it seems like this is around the moment I lost the connection. 30 seconds? Uh, minute 8, 30 seconds, right? Yep. I'm nearly right. there. I need just a few mm. more seconds. I'm nearly there as well. And I just hit it. Ah, me too. Oh, <laughs> <Crazy>. great. <laughs> so yeah, so it All seems right. like it's just the zero speed seam speed that is just lagging for some reason for me. Because, um, because so on the plus 10 we are hitting the same spot at the same time. Yeah. Okay, do so... You, do you wanna do the countdown? Or? Okay, three, two, one, go. Let's go. But yeah, it seems like the position on the middle map is actually gonna be contested by the bottom team, which is not something I expected. Considering yes. the heavy investment by Farm Sleti into the air units and gunships. And what, what, what's more surprising is that he didn't actually move his ACU to mid. Yes, but I guess the gunships might be just enough to go and toward the enemy upgrade. Yes, Leo seeing the upgrade. I mean, cancelling the gun upgrade on his ACU after getting under fire by the enemy Vulto. Who will he successfully force him to cancel the upgrade? Uh, yes, the upgrade have been cancelled. The question is, what's gonna happen next? Because the ACU, even without the gun upgrade, is still a one hell of a meaty boy. Damn, the actually the side ACU is going nuts with the <laughs> with the navy. Look at this, so oh. much navy and gunships out there. Although, what can I say? The navy mainly consists of the shards, so I'm not sure I would call it navy. <laughs> true, <laughs> true. <laughs> it's one shard over another. So I guess it is gonna actually nicely complement the submarines and the gunships from the AI. So who knows? Maybe there's some kind of a nice idea behind it. Oh, and it seems like there is minus two happening for Rafael, so maybe he also had a bug or something happening to his client. Oh, yeah. But oh, it oh, seems like the AI actually managed to go and bait all of the interceptors from Donny into suiciding after a single gunship. Which wow. I don't think is the best idea. 
AI actually making really good plays, who knew? Yeah. And the middle, it seems like the Russian team is just gonna recover everything they can, scoop up the mouth and basically run away. Which can is we appreciate the fact? <laughs> can we appreciate the fact for a second that it's even going to repair it? <laughs> the gunship. <laughs> oh my god. Well, I guess it knows something more than us. Recycling is the can... way to go. I didn't know you can air station uh, friendly air stagings. Wait, it. What? Yeah. It did it on the yellow one? Yes. Ha. Huh. Interesting. I also wasn't aware of that. But I guess now we can actually just ask other people in Team Gaze to make us air staging without having to give it to us, so yeah. That opens a new brand new possibilities. Yeah, that's weird. I don't think. I, I'm not sure if that's actually possible between players. Yeah, actually, I find it quite funny how both human players just averted their eyes from the mid lane, to the middle island, and the AI is like, this is where I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, look at this boy. He's not giving up on this at all. Yeah, he means business. He knows how important this. And I hate these clouds, I have to now zoom in so close to get rid of them. Yeah, that's so weird. Reminds me of the Paradise map. Yeah, but it was never that bad. Uh, yeah, it was worse. <laughs> was it? Or maybe I'm mistaking the maps. Well, I, I remember it being really bad. But yeah, the shards are all here. And for some reason, they're all shift at the same spot. He's taking efficient fights. Yeah, AI is she talking the teammates for reclaiming its engineers. <laughs> Toxic in the chat coming out and yeah, it seems like the AI unfortunately won't be capable of handling the wheelie in the mid lane. As we can see, all of the two support factories falling down one after another. I and guess that not, <laughs> not that the, the hours are free to roam. Yeah. Where is he gonna send it? Well, that's a big question. Although, unfortunately for him, it seems like the enemy navy is actually consisting of the Seraphim destroyers, meaning that the AI might prove to be quite hard to deal with. Yeah, you're definitely right. But let's look at the left side. What is the purple trail cooking? Oh, Maudlin just came in to chime in that the air staging sharing might only be an AI thing. And oh. it's not possible for normal players. But don't oh, yeah. worry, it's something we're still gonna go and try in our game. <laughs> e <laughs> even so, if I can just go and scream at Drift that he's not helping out. <laughs> just that alone is worth it. Yeah. Well, so far it seems like the game is gonna enter a small stalemate. Although the really is not gonna take it, as we can see him moving his Aurora and also blazes to go and attack right. the enemy navy. <laughs> right into the Destro. Well, it seems like this time AI is just not gonna pussyfoot around and gonna send its unit to intercept the hover spam. Although it seems to be overwhelmed by the, all the hover. Come on, dive down, dive down, boy. Get down, Mr. President. Well, it seems like it's gonna be John Kennedy, so yeah. Unfortunately, a little too late. Yeah. The AI pool of the John Kennedy got its president assassinated. Unfortunate, very unfortunate. So now there is a big presence of uh, frigates. Yeah, but it's from the human player, so it doesn't count. Oh no, the AI is actually most likely gonna lose the cruiser too. Or maybe no. Yeah, they're just gonna farm the <coughs> hover on that point. Yeah, but on the other side of the sea, we can see that the silent class and sirens are actually doing some damage to the units. Oh no, that's just AI. No, wait, that's not AI. That's actually Arch. Is it AI or Arch? Which one? No, okay, never mind. It's the AI. It's a darker orange. <laughs> Yeah, I so was like, fell apart. <laughs> I was like, is this Arm Sim cut? No, is it AI? No, it's who is it? <laughs> it's really hard to tell apart sometimes. Yeah, 
Although, on the other hand, you can quite easily make a part which team it is, so yeah, there is that. True, true, true. It seems like it's the tournament is all about the team play, because we cannot even distinguish who is who, so yeah, we'll have to go and keep on saying which team is winning, not which player. So after losing the middle, I wonder what the next move is for the left team, top team, brother. Yeah, I mean, it looks like they basically had fallen back and instead of investing more, they went for the Navy and for the T3 economy. Because when you look at the mass score, it seems like they're actually quite ahead by 70 mass per tick. Make it 80. Oh yeah, that's true. But the question is, when the bottom team actually makes proper, how is it called? Usage of the max spots on the middle island, I feel like the difference might be not even as big. There is a potato in CPU, <laughs> CPU in the game. Yes, yes, that is true. There was one there. I mean, might it be the wheelie himself? Yes. Or who knows, maybe there was even more of them. Maybe even three if we can't mine. Although I guess mine cannot be even called potato CPU considering it crashed the whole game. <laughs> so I guess it went into through potato and became a thermonuclear bomb. Erasing <laughs> my presence in the live replay. I mean the live it game. Fermented down to vodka straight. Yeah, it became the vodka to power me through. <laughs> but yeah. It seems like, surprisingly, the AI is managing to hold back the players on the corners. Which is not something I was expecting, especially considering the amount of shards which the AI is adamant about making all the time. Like, to be honest, like... Yeah? Yeah, to be honest, they're not making a lot of effort to push. Yeah, which is a shame. Like, I would think that you should actually go and try to deal as much damage as possible to the AI here. Considering that players micro versus in the navy scenario should be just so much better. And well, when you get your navy pretty close to the enemy bases, you don't even have to kill the enemy ACUs. Just kill all of the surrounding maxes near the coastline and just call it a day. Like it would be such a good move. But for some <coughs> reason, yeah, Don, yeah. Donny is just not willing to do it. Meanwhile, Arximkat is doing exactly the opposite and trying to go and push in. Also, it's quite hard, even if you win the navy on the left side, to really do anything with it. Just because the air support is going to be almost impossible to deal with. I mean, it might be, but it seems like the bottom team is actually ahead. FX Commando have what? He have 32 ASF versus Raphael's 14, so yeah. This is looking quite bleak when it comes to the ASF numbers. And when it comes to the mass income, there is 171 for FTX Commando and 170 for Raphael, so it's not like he's even ahead. Yeah, they're going neck and neck. And the aircraft factories, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, let's say... Six for Mr. Reptix Commando, and on the other side, okay, Raphael only have four of them, and he's actually gonna be stalling energy. Yes, he's stalling energy. He have to use energy from his teammates, as otherwise he's unable to even go and power his own air factories. So that is a pretty sad state to be as an air player. Honestly, um. Actually, this is super odd how the how Raphael and FTX Commander are on the same mass income, considering that FTX Commander has way more maxes. Um, does he? Yeah, he does have three more. Oh, he does yeah. have the two in the front, from what I can see, because the others were taken by Mikey. So yeah, that is actually true, he have a few more maxes, but I think the difference is basically due to the fact that FTX is investing really heavily in the infrastructure for the air. Like, just go That's and look true. at the amount of the power and air factories he have. That's true, he has way more. Like, at this point, it's basically... Yes, it's double the factories, 
And oh my god, Raphael, please make some pigeons for god's sake. Like man is running five T3 air factories on two T3 pigeons. <laughs> this is getting a lot of overflow. Let's see how much AI is actually overflowing. Okay, 2000. And the other one is overflowing 2000 and a half, so I guess. I mean, ah. they're producing three now of K per pigeon. Yeah. I mean, I guess you can actually field a quite good flotilla of aircraft by basically using the overflow from the AI right now. So maybe that's the play here. Use the mass to go and upgrade your maxes and use the overflow from the team to actually make the aircraft to the air factories. After all, pigeons don't produce mass, they produce energy. That's true. Okay, it seems like uh, FTX Commando together with Arxim that are actually gonna do really well on the top side. As we can see them actually crushing the AI Navy. And soon enough they might actually even go and threaten the core maxis of the AI. No. Oh, oh yeah. this is really not FTX Commando, I was wondering. <laughs> yeah, they just keep on changing the colors all the time for some reason. Because in the before game, the bloody red color was for FTX Commando. And this time it's really actually using it. God damn it. Just pick it and stick it. <laughs> exactly. And while it seems like... Okay. And it seems like Arc Simcat and FTX are... I mean, the wheelie are winning... <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems like they're actually capable of crashing the AI. The same is happening on the other side, as we can see Donny killing the whole navy belonging to the gold player and now going after the lemon one. So yeah, it seems like the game really have entered equilibrium because no matter what happens on the map, the exact same thing is happening on the other side. Well, obviously apart from the mid lane island. Okay, this let's see thing. the nuclear vibe check. Yes, there it is. One nuclear launcher is being nearly finished by the light blue AI. All right, cool. Yes, the violent yes, cool. one only have SMD completed, not trying to go and build a nuke. I guess it's just afraid of the big navy that is stationed in front of it. Apparently, the AI cannot. Why did it? Deal. Cruiser. Wait a second, why did it crash? Why did oh. it crash for fuck's sake? Okay, we are actually bug, I think. Oh, your stream crashed? Yes, I'm, and I'm not sure really, really why is it happening today. Let me pause the game at minute. 20 something like come on game at 21 and 45 seconds and my connection seems to be stable but twitch is just not responding to me for whatever the ungodly reason so i'm gonna go and stop the stream and start it up again Oh no, now I have to watch ads. There are no ads on Faf. <laughs> but there are. No, okay, there is something really wrong happening. <laughs> I'm... Yes, Twitch is just unable to go and... I cannot get connection with it. Many people. And I can actually just open... Many people. Yeah, I can use the full speed of my download. Okay, it seems like we are actually back. Great. I just have no clue why is Twitch just behaving like this today. Hmm. I guess you've been streaming a long time. I mean, I was, but yeah, at least we can go back to the game. So I'm at minute 21 and 50 seconds. Alright, I'm 53. Just say go when you're there. Go. 
So yeah, we somehow managed to go and fix that Twitch problem. But I'm honestly not sure what the hell is happening. Or maybe my ISP got just fed up with me sending all this data to Twitch, so... <laughs> it's throttling me, but yeah. Weird. Also... <laughs> I mean, I this, maybe is the <laughs> this is the first time it's been actually happening. I had never problems like that, but I also never streamed for eight hours straight. So, who knows? Can we appreciate for a second how the light blue AI is actually stealing Maxis from Donnie? <laughs> Wait, it is? Yeah, on the bottom island. Oh, you're right. No, 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 you're wait, the they're, they're in the same team, so why did it? Oh, maybe the Maxis actually died before, due to the, how is it called, the navy from the golden one before. As I could yeah, see maybe. a few destroyers prowling around there before Mr. Donnie actually took the work into his own hands and decided to dispatch his own navy. Actually, the, the navy is going, the navy push is going to choke down now that there is a omen class coming. Yeah, not to mention there is also the air support happening, as the AI is not only using the navy, but also dropping in a few torpedo bombers, and actually me crowing them just in to drop the bombs and then go outside the range of the enemy cruisers. Which is pretty interesting to see, as that's not something you would expect from a torpedo bomber. It's going to be a really hard time for... Donnie anyways to do anything about the Navy because at any time the entire team can help at the bottom. Yeah, I mean, the thing is that Donnie right now is not going only up against the enemy AI, but also against the... The other Donnie. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was about to say that Donnie is going versus Donnie and I had to go and pause and wonder what the hell am, am I even saying. <laughs> I guess we just have to keep on calling him Insidious Noob or something. Yeah, what is what life I can say. Oh, there is a new clown show from Raphael coming up. Oh, so he also made one, so they actually have two, because AI made one before, which is already halfway done with its first nuke. It's the one by Shun Avriolev, or however the hell is just it called. That's too difficult to pronounce. I will not even attempt it. I fully understand you. <laughs> I have no clue why I even tried it. <laughs> but it's, it is well. Yeah. But it <laughs> seems like the nuclear launcher by Rafal is really heavily assisted. There is what? 33 engineers supporting it. Make it 50. So we yeah, basically double the build power on the Stoneager. Which is pretty interesting. But yeah, it seems like the wall navy from Doni will have to go and run away as the insidious noob is just pushing in harder and harder. Yeah, there is no way you can hold the navy, I think, at the point. Yeah, it's looking really green for him. Actually, there are two galaxy classes out. Yeah, that is true, but still. Though there is one omen, second one coming too, I think. Yep. And also, yeah. there is like 20 destroyers, and it's Aeon destroyers, so they're really great at brawling. Yeah, they're so good. Yeah, the nerfs were really justified to them. They have, they have so much DPS as well. Like, the cannon is uh, about 212, and the torpedoes. Yeah. Oh, I mean double idea. torpedoes, basically, because the death charges also do amazing damage. I'm not sure, but the, I think the difference is the death charges cannot be redirected or shot down, right? Uh, yeah, they're basically... Yeah, basically you just send them in and they will always hit the target. Unlike torpedoes, which can get basically intercepted by flares or other anti-torpedo weaponry. So yeah. that's the biggest difference. Although I might be wrong, but I think that the death charges can actually only be used versus the submarines. But I have no clue if that's true or not. And here is a nuke land from the AI. No. 
Oh no, it's from Raphael. Somehow he finished the nuke faster than the AI. Although I guess with the 50 T3 engine is assisting it, it makes sense. That certainly helped. I wonder where it's going. Well, it's going through the middle. Maybe straight for the airbase. It is a quite early nuke. Yes, yeah, it's 26, and especially from a player, that's very early. And it's going for the base belonging to FTX Commander, who seems to not have the SMD loaded in on time. So it seems like the wall air is just gonna go up in flames, as we can see him just struggling to try to make another T3 pigeon. SSAP. It did react quite well, build up NGs. Yeah, all the engines are gonna stay alive, which is amazing, to be honest. But the question is, will they even have the power to run it? No, they don't. It seems like FTX command is stalling 5000 energy per second and no matter the, how much overflow there is available, it's not enough. Did I just see another strategic launch? No. No. <laughs> I'm tripping. Yeah, no, there is a SML launching, but... Oh yeah, there is! There it is, from bottom team. Yeah, it's the other okay. AI, throwing the nuke exactly at... Can save you now. Enemy air grid. <laughs> wow. That's actually... <laughs> That's actually okay, insane. let's see. Okay, there is a nuke eliminator built here, but the problem is... It was not built on time, there is still 10% left on it, so let's see if this nailbiter is gonna actually hit the target or not. 95% on the SMD. But the nuke is coming closer and closer, and with the ACU sitting right there, it wow. seems like it might be a bullseye. Yes, it is. Oh god! Strategic launch detected. Did you, you see it? Delayed it then? The SMD still tried to go and shoot out the nuke, meaning it wasted the. Oh boy. That's a big L. Not only do lose the wall air grid. But also the <laughs> one of the SMD missiles. That's in, that's incredible. And the AI, Fun. it seems like it's gonna try to go and nuke the base belonging to Ark Simcat on the top side, which does have SMD, which is unfortunately not loaded. Yeah, the nukes are flying. Damn. Yeah. Oh, you you don't have uh, stream delay, right? Uh, no, I don't, because the stream crashed for whatever the reason. Ah, it does We don't need it anyways. Like, I really have no idea why is it, but after like 6 to 7 hours of streaming, there is just these problems popping up. Either the Twitch just... Well... Taking up all of my bandwidth. Or like one fourth of it, that is the 40 megabytes per second for whatever the reason. Or just not even getting anything. That is weird. And obviously there was also the client back happening, who just killed the game before. <laughs> well, I guess technical issues will always. Yeah, it's always path, be there. I guess. It comes with the engine. But the Ark seem got doing really nice progress on the top part of the map. We can see him using the omens to basically go and crash down the enemy AI. Or wait, no, that's not an AI. That's also the units of Leo. That is Zasport. The summits being just basically wrecked, and I love the choice by Willy to just keep on making the Seraphim destroyers. And instead of having them be, well, used as the destroyers, he's just using them as the submarines. Yeah, actually, actually, there was a change to the submarines, uh, to the T3 submarines, that is, that they do now do actually a lot more damage than they did before. I mean, I think it's because of the torpedo defenses actually being useful right now, so... Nah, it was... I, I, I was uh, playing it, uh, Seton's game, and then came to the realization that they actually... Oh, they, they do now about 400 DPS instead of 280. Oh, I mean, that's yeah. still not that much damage. It's still a submarine which you can just basically quite easily torpedo bomb. Yeah, but do you see the value in it? Well, not yet, because I didn't watch a single set on their play. Yeah, but just just look at the, how uh, the amount of mass killed on each of them. Uh, wait. You mean in this game or what? No. 
in this game, yeah. There's not much, it's like what? 1000? 500? 900? Well, the or on the other side. Wait, maybe. Yeah. No, I don't see a single T3 submarine here. Maybe I'm just blind. No, top side, top side. Oh, right, because there are sniper submarines. They have just so much range. I was looking somewhere close near the destroyers for them. Meanwhile, yeah. they will all hiding below the battleship. So yeah, you are right about that. Yeah, yeah because you were talking about Weedy, so I thought... Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I was mostly thinking about his destroyers being used as the submarines. Anyways, this is quite crazy. How much they kill, how much value they have. Although, actually... Oh, no. It's three of them have over 9,000 mass killed, and there is one new one with 200, so yeah. There's one with 15, 16k masses. And it's growing even higher, I can see. So yeah, guys, if you ever thought that the submarines suck, it seems like this game is gonna prove you wrong. Me included. <laughs> They're being sn sniped down slowly by the torps. Yeah, but sniping them one after another is not really that useful. Because there is more and more coming their way, not to mention the battleship that's coming too. So I feel like there is nowhere enough of the units from the bottom side team to actually go and crush the UEF fortress that we have. Yeah, it seems Six like the summits, some Neptunes, so yeah, it's gonna be hard. Yeah, that seems like they, they hit the UEF wall. FTX is gonna be mad when he hears us refer to this as the UEF wall. Because UEF is not a title of faction, re! <laughs> but hey, it seems like the air players are actually still trying to prod each other. But I'm surprised to see that even though FTX lost the wall air grid, he actually still have more ASF available compared to his opponent, Rafael. It's 70, it's 70 versus 120, so yeah. To be fair, he also lost his... <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about <laughs> that. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that the FTX commando was the only one suffering. By the way, look at <laughs> FTX aggro. It's interesting, I guess. Oh, he's even making the mass fabricators here, so yeah. The man just doesn't care, he just needs the pure power. He's not here to build bases, he's here to go and crush balls. I guess on minus three your brain just stops working at some point. <laughs> oh, I fully agree with that. Mine just stops working after like half an hour of minus one, so yeah. Minus yeah. two? It's basically over for me, my brain becomes a mush. You have accomplished nothing. You will never defeat us. I mean, at this time I actually agree with the AI. Nuking two Maxis is not the best idea. <laughs> so I fully appreciate the AI actually talking back. But yeah, it seems while the mid lane is somehow holding on, Mr. Insidious Noob, also known as Donny, is gonna go and get rid of his Impostor Donny on the left flank. As there is only two Galaxy... Okay, make it a single Galaxy-class battleship going up versus three Omens. Yeah, Donny proving once and for all who the real Donny is. Exactly. His Colos gonna be mid with a monkey though. Hmm? Wait, who is making monkey? It's already made on the bottom island. Right? Oh yeah, it is. I was just looking for it, I couldn't find it. And also, there is a beautiful air grid by the fake Donny. So very, very interesting. I totally missed it somehow. They even have the SMD ready here to defend it, so yeah, props to the... Russian team for actually pulling a fight, but it seems like the AI. No way, that's actually Donny, that's not the AI. That's Donny sending the lone Colossus. Like, I saw a lone GC without any support and those, like, 
Yeah, that's an AI. But no, that's Tony. <laughs> I guess... I guess that's not the worst move. Uh, it's not the bad move any, anyway. I like, mean, yeah, uh, you're just not expecting any kind of PDs or any land forces on this island, like, which can stop the Galactic Colossi, right? Yeah. I mean, there might be a spider here, but the spider alone is not gonna be nearly enough to go and stop the GC from just crashing it. And yeah, the spider have been spotted. The GC is dealing out damage, spider opening fire, and yeah. It seems like the GC is gonna win it without any kind of trouble at all. Even more so when it has some help from the shields. And there goes the spider. The only thing left of him is a trail mark. Yes. And it seems like the GC is just gonna keep on walking forward. Gonna go and try to get rid of the enemy base. Although it seems like Donny is making a quite a good run the PDs. Making more and more of them. It might be just enough to go and stop the GC to get rid of the shields. Gonna be close certainly. going all mad on the chat, hating the choke point maps, and honestly I can kind of agree with that, because there is just not enough space for all the navy here, it's just so easy to go and defend your spot, Yeah. especially on the top side where look at the amount of shields made. Yeah, the top team is tr transitioning hard into the economy. Probably thinking about the game ender at that point. I mean, it, it could be a decent choice, especially as the game seems like it's gonna, it's not gonna progress at all through the navy or the land forces. So, going for a game ender might be the good choice. Art Simcad actually making a tempest, which honestly I quite agree with. Tempest can be a decent choice when fighting the UEF and its shield stack. Yep, here comes the turtle. Slowly but surely. He is moving forward with its orange shaped shell. And yeah, seems like the GC is really gonna go and kill the wall base belonging to Donny on the bottom side. Though the T1 bombers are gonna prove to be well quite annoying to deal with, but thankfully it seems like FTX Commando is gonna go and donate a few of the ISF to Donny so he can, I mean to Insidious them so that he can protect himself, because the T2PDs are unfortunately not gonna be enough. Another nuke being launched, but this time coming out from the enemy battleship, as the really was actually using the battleship to go and make the nuclear warhead in it, and it's gonna go straight for the enemy navy. Yeah, it's gonna kill all the shield boats, but not not the battleships. I mean, it should still deal quite considerable damage to them. It's not a real nuke, but 25,000 damage is still 25,000 damage, right? That's true. And there it is. All the shield boats are dying in no time. And the battleships taking heavy damage. And it seems like on the other side the AI is gonna go and fire another nuke. This time going for the T3 PDs belonging to Ono. Is it actually also gonna go and hit the ASF belonging to Rafael? That could be horrible. Mm, no. No, yeah, he's just the gonna move him away on time.
Donnie saying that the battleships are overpowered, honestly. I can kind of agree after the last round of the buffs. They are really nice as long as you can basically go and micro them. As long as you can stay in range. Yeah. I mean, it's not even that hard to stay in range because we are actually quite a lot faster than the standard battleships of other factions. Oh, really, are they? Yes. I mean, the Aeon battleship is basically a mix of a battleship and the UEF battlecruiser, so yes. Yeah, that's so good. Yeah, GG is coming out from the Russian team as it seems like they recognize the fact that they are unable to go and hold on to the Navy fight, especially after the last nuke. As we can see the players transferring their bases from one player to another. And it is GG as team Justice for Telebili is actually gonna go and advance to the semi-finals of the loser bracket. So GG and well played as the score is 2 to 0 and this being best of 3 means that we are all free. Well played and well, good job for winning the series yeah. for all the players. Let's just hope they now have to go and finish the AI now. <laughs> that would take another half an hour. Uh, surely not. Let's speed it up. Oh, it's not uh, possible. Uh, it's impossible. <laughs> I'm on minus one. There is 5,000 units on the battlefield and half of them firing shots. So yeah, it's gonna be impossible. But yeah, it seems like Ark Simcad is just gonna go and control K and go to sleep. Which is understandable, it's gonna be like, what, 5 a.m. in Hong Kong for him, so yeah. Poor okay. guy. But he did it. He stood his man, what can I say? Exactly. Yeah, and now, it seems like the whole team is quitting, so it seems like Fergal gave them an A-OK -okay to not kill the AI, as it will take just too much time. That is true. And as such, oh. I can finally quit this game and get ready for our own Amimir.